Last year's third and final season of Star Trek Picard was a rousing success and quickly led to talk of a potential spin-off series dubbed Star Trek Legacy. That spin-off show would continue the adventures of the younger crew of the new Enterprise, NCC 1701G, with its Captain Seven of Nine, Jerry Ryan, First Officer Rafaela Rafi Musiker, Michelle Hurd, Captain's Counselor Jack Crusher, Ed Spaliers, and several of the other younger characters introduced. But will it seem that it won't ever happen? Stick around, because we've got some jaw-dropping revelations that you won't want to miss. Keep watching until the end to find out why there's no hope. Star Trek Legacy seriously will never happen. Star Trek Legacy's future in jeopardy? Star Trek, Picard's finale left us hanging with the tantalizing promise of a new series featuring Jack Crusher, the son of the legendary captain. Imagine the excitement as Jack, played by Ed Spaliers, faced off against the immortal Q, John Delancey, in a pivotal scene. Q, ever the enigmatic trickster, informs Jack that humanity's trial is not over, and now Jack must stand in for his father in this cosmic judgment. We all hoped that this twist was not just a clever plot device, but a setup for a new adventure, possibly Ayu Dream Show Star Trek Legacy. However, despite the high expectations and fans' anticipation, this envisioned series seems that it will never happen. Even John Delancey himself expressed his belief over the fate of Picard's ending, hinting at what could have been a thrilling continuation. In an interview with TrekMovie.com's All Access Star Trek podcast, Delancey hinted at the missed opportunity, saying, Well, most post credit scenes are a setup for something else. So I took it as that. In reading it, I went, Oh well, there it is. There is the baton. There's the jump off for the next show. I don't think at this point it will happen. There was a fun period of time that it looked like it could happen. But then there was the writer's strike, which took a lot of people's attentions away. I don't think that they expected that season three was going to be as good and as well received. They had already decided on another show. They were already moving in another direction. But it was certainly a really valiant and well-appreciated finale to the next generation. Delancey's words paint a somber picture, suggesting that Legacy is unlikely to see the light of day. It appears that despite initial hopes, the path to Legacy has been diverted. But alas, it seems that Legacy's journey has hit a roadblock. Terry Metalis, the showrunner for Star Trek, Picard Season 3, and the visionary behind the proposed spin-off, Star Trek Legacy, confirmed that Star Trek Legacy is not in development at Paramount+. Plus. Despite the enthusiasm from Metalis and members of the Picard cast, including Gates McFadden and LeVar Burton, for Star Trek Legacy, there's been no progress. In an interview with Screen Rant, Metalis clarified, Let me be clear, there is nothing in development at Paramount. Again, I need to be clear on this. This is just a pie-in-the-sky wish on my part. There is nothing in development. It would be amazing if one day they came to me and said they were interested. But as of press time, it's little more than a, Hey, wouldn't that be neat? But hey, stranger things have happened. Also in another recent interview with Trek Movie, Metalis confirmed that there has been no movement and hinted that Legacy may be dead in the water. The changing landscape of the streaming wars has led Paramount to reevaluate its plans for Star Trek. With the conclusion of Picard and Discovery and Prodigy slated for cancellation after one more season each, the future of Star Trek seems uncertain. Even the planned series Section 31 Inches has been shortened to a single TV movie. Metalis acknowledged the current state of affairs, stating, There's not any movement. They have Star Trek that they are making, and they only have so much money and streaming space. But where there is darkness, there is also some hope for light. As this also surprised me that despite the setback, Metalis remains optimistic, saying, We're looking forward to whatever the Star Trek universe brings, and never say never. I wouldn't rule it out yet, but who knows? Tomorrow, we might wake up to new, more exciting news. And definitely, you have to keep watching as you won't believe it. What Star Trek Legacy plot and storyline could have brought? One of the fascinating aspects that Star Trek Legacy could have explored is the dynamic between Seven of Nine and Raffi, particularly their past relationship. 
Inter-officer romances are not uncommon in the Star Trek universe, but Legacy would have been the first time a captain served directly with an ex. Metalis expressed excitement about the storytelling possibilities, highlighting the rich opportunities for drama and character development. Moreover, Metalis reflected on the evolution of the Star Trek franchise over the decades, noting that characters and storylines can continue to evolve and resonate with audiences. He pondered the future of characters like Worf and the Klingon Empire, suggesting that there are always new stories to be told in the vast Star Trek universe. Now, you have to keep watching as I still want to answer the question that you all have. Who would have been the cast of Star Trek Legacy? If Star Trek Legacy were to actually happen, I believe that Jerry Ryan, Todd Stashwick, and the return of Alexander would have been essential to the cast. These guys would undoubtedly be a crucial element in bringing this new chapter of the Star Trek universe to life. And if you are wondering why, then keep watching, as I have some reasons for you on why they should all have been in the cast. Jerry Ryan as Seven of Nine Jerry Ryan's portrayal of Seven of Nine has been nothing short of transformative. From her early days as a Borg drone on Voyager to her evolution into a respected Starfleet captain, Seven's journey has been one of the most compelling character arcs in Star Trek. If Star Trek Legacy had come to fruition, Jerry Ryan's return as Seven would have been a cornerstone of the series, offering fans a deeper exploration of her character's growth and the challenges she faces as she commands the USS Enterprise G, Todd Stashwick as Captain Liam Shaw. Despite his character's demise in Star Trek Picard Season 3, Todd Stashwick's portrayal of Captain Liam Shaw left a lasting impact on fans. Shaw's complex personality and acerbic wit made him a standout character, with audiences clamoring for his return. In Star Trek Legacy, Shaw's resurrection, akin to Spock's return in earlier Star Trek lore, would have added a layer of intrigue and depth to the series, making him a key player in the ongoing narrative. The Return of Alexander for years, fans have wondered about the fate of Alexander, Worf's son, and his role in the Star Trek universe. If Terry Metalas had the chance to explore his vision for Star Trek Legacy, Alexander's story would have been a focal point. As the Klingon Empire evolves and faces new challenges, Alexander's journey would have offered a unique perspective on Klingon culture and its place in the galaxy. Michael Dorn's return as Worf would have further enriched this storyline, creating a compelling narrative thread that delves into family dynamics, honor, and legacy. Can the fans save Star Trek legacy? Michelle Hurd, known for her role as Raffi Musiker on Star Trek. Picard seems to think so. Since the series concluded, fans have been buzzing about the possibility of a Star Trek Legacy spin-off. While no official spin-off is in development yet, Heard believes that fan interest could play a pivotal role in making it a reality. Heard expressed her enthusiasm for reprising her role as Raffi, stating that she loves the character and is hopeful for the future of Star Trek Legacy. She also mentioned that the upcoming Section 31 Inches series featuring Michelle Yeoh and the Starfleet Academy series are currently in the works. However, if fans continue to show interest, Star Trek Legacy could be next on the agenda. The idea of fans influencing the creation of new Star Trek content is not new. Campaigns and petitions have been a part of the franchise's history, with notable successes such as the announcement of Star Trek Strange New Worlds following fan campaigns. Last year, a petition for Legacy garnered nearly 64,000 signatures, demonstrating the passionate fanbase's desire for new Star Trek adventures. However, fan interest is just one piece of the puzzle. Paramount Global, facing financial constraints and cost-cutting measures, must weigh various factors when greenlighting new projects. Despite this, Paramount Plus continues to invest in the Star Trek universe, with multiple projects in various stages of production. This news wasn't lightly taken by some fans, as one fan said, I'd much rather see Legacy than the Starfleet Academy show, or the Section 31 show. If Paramount were smart, they would let Legacy be the new show and completely scrap the Academy idea. All they have to do is listen and they will make the right choice. 
Another fan still has hopes that the show will happen, and he said, It needs Terry to be showrunner, to bring that same magic, if you will, as he did with Picard Season 3. I know you love this, and as a Star Trek fan, I'm sure you will definitely love to watch Star Trek Section 31. Trailer is about to change Star Trek forever!